So what is up guys, Nick here, back again with another video and let's take a look at the iPhone XS Max versus the iPhone 12 Pro Max, the truth. Now, why do I call this the truth? Because I wanna talk about, you know, has the iPhone 12 Pro Max been worth that upgrade? Because if you take a look at these on the surface, don't they look quite similar? They look pretty much the same, at least from the front. Of course, on the back, they're very different. But I want to talk about that upgrade there because we do have the 13 Pro Max incoming. Some people might have held off, maybe waiting with the 10s Max and the iPhone 12 Pro Max should be coming down as well. So this might be an upgrade you plan to do soon on that 10s Max. So I'm going to talk about first the prices. Right now you can find the iPhone 10s Max for right around that $395 to $400 mark. And over here on the iPhone 12 Pro Max, same price as when it came out, $1,000 thousand dollars and more 1099 to start i mean it's up there so you're not paying no cheap price for this even though the 13 hasn't arrived apple will keep it that price until the next one arrives and it'll just replace it and you probably won't be buying this one at the apple stores no more you'll have to get it third party all right so let me give you the truth about the feel in the hand between this 10s max what i've thought about it over these past couple years uh, versus this two-year upgrade over the 10s max and the 12 pro max so it's got that thicker feel to it you can see it right there but look at how different those squared edges are from those corners on the 10s max this becomes very apparent when you first upgrade to one of these newer designed iphones with the squared sides and i would say that it's actually not quite as comfortable as the 10s max this phone right here was a little bit more comfortable it's a little bit lighter it feels a little bit more compact but still large and it just feels more comfortable to hold in one hand now the iphone 12 pro max does have a unique feel though because this has squared edges not a lot of competing android devices have this type of design so it kind of has this unique feel to it whereas i felt like the 10s max with the curved edges did feel a little bit more you could say Samsung like with the curve kind of feel around the edges, but right here, this one definitely has its unique feel. Although it's a little sharper in the corners, it's a slightly wider feel, just a little bit of a bigger phone. Not to say that's a bad thing. If you could handle this, you could handle this phone. But the truth about the 12 Pro Max is that over my time using it, I don't feel like it was quite as comfortable to hold, but it did feel more premium than the iPhone XS Max. It did give off a much more premium feel, so that's a good thing. But in terms of comfort, ergonomics, I'd have to give it to the XS Max here. All right, so let's talk about the differences, the truth in the display. Now, two years later, that 0.2 inches, it hasn't made a big difference, to be quite honest with you. If I'm being totally truthful here, the iPhone 12 Pro Max, doesn't feel much different in size. You can see it right there, it's 0.2 inches, but this, is this really life-changing? Absolutely not. Now, what is noticeable, I wouldn't say it's life-changing either, but it is noticeable was that 800 nits, the brightness on there, definitely on the iPhone XS Max did not get quite as large. And if you're wondering about that little chip right there, I do have a crack on the screen protector. It's not the actual screen itself, but the brightness definitely cranks up higher for the iPhone 12 Pro Max. That's a noticeable change. However, the truth is, is these displays felt quite similar to use, especially when you're indoors and stuff. It didn't feel much different. The 10s Max definitely had that quicker 3D touch though. So when you do press down, that felt a little bit snappier, which is kind of weird because you're going to a newer phone that costs more and it's a little bit slower when you go ahead and pop in. And so I would say that the best things about the iPhone 12 Pro Max versus that 10s max the truth is that i just liked how much brighter the display got now i would say it's a little bit better tuned as well every year apple's just slightly tweaking it to be a little bit better tuned and it is an xdr oled versus the regular you know super retina oled so this one does have a little bit more you know accuracy going on but overall, you know, the truth is, is that neither of these had a life-changing display like going to one to the other. So if you came from this and you came here, it's not gonna be massively different. Okay, so what is the truth about the software? So the camera is different, you know, that's about, about it. You know, I haven't, I haven't noticed much other than that. And even with the updates that have come into the iPhone XS Max, it's basically a similar experience across the board here as well. So let's get up out of there. Let's go into the iPhone 12 Pro Max and you'll see you got the 0.5X, you got 2.5X. So there's a few more features. You can do raw 
right up there in the camera so it's more pro that's what it is you know this one's not the pro phone this is the pro phone it is more pro than the iphone 10s max in the sense of camera usage if you're going to use it like a professional now i will say that what about other things in the software well there's not much because if you go over here to app library take a look it's the same thing through and through if we scroll through and swipe through the os it's the same feature set and you're going to get the same stuff on ios 15 so if you were to ask me how much different how much better has it been in the software it hasn't been better at all and even with the a14 bionic the a12 is still flying through things like it's nothing so it doesn't seem like that chipset was more than just marketing because you know in reality you don't probably use what the a14 is capable of on ios now i'm not that's not to say i don't like the advancements i don't enjoy having that extra fast cpu i'm just saying it hasn't made a life-changing difference so the truth is the 10s max has held on very well by comparison at least in the way of performance and the software because it's like using the same phone just a little bit bigger with a different edges on the side and an upgraded camera. Okay, so what's the truth about the storage here? Now, I will say that I'm very happy to report that with the iPhone 12 Pro Max, it did start out at a little bit of a higher 128 gig capacity. So I like that fact about it. It's a little bit quicker, I've noticed, but not by much. I would say the storage, the truth is, is I've been happier that they started at a higher overall capacity it just has made it more of a fun way you know to pick up a phone because you're going to be paying this price why are we starting out at 64 so i'm happy that that happened for the 12 pro max now battery life what is the truth here this is one of the best upgrades to the 12 pro max i would say not substantially but definitely a lot better than the iphone 10s max 10s max was a lot lower at around 20 percent when i was finishing out my days the 12 Pro Max, I'm around 56, 51, 52. So I'd say it was about a 30% better battery life on the day to day. However, keep in mind that if you're holding on to your 10S Max right here, good on you because the 13 Pro Max is rumored to have a larger battery than the 12 Pro Max, which is gonna give it substantially better battery life more than likely, which will give that phone a real reason to upgrade. So you might wanna hold off to that device. If you're looking to get an even better battery jump, from the 10s max instead of going to 12 pro max to skip over to 13 pro max you should be getting an even larger battery in the 4000s this time all right so i got my little happy guy right here let me go ahead and talk about the cameras between both of these and really it's just having that extra you know zoom so if i go ahead and take that photo you can go 2x on this phone you could zoom in all the way up on that little smile look at that little smiley face right there you can zoom all the way up in on that little happy face to about 10x here for the iphone 10s max now the main difference here let's move them over here by the way how you guys doing now <laughs> let's, let's go over here back to the camera and let's go ahead and take a photo there with this one the optical went to 2.5 but we could zoom all the way into 12x so you had an upgrade there the video quality does get a little bit better here with the 4k hdr however i had it turned off honestly because the truth is is i didn't want to use that video quality because when i edit video i have to do extra stuff to get that video to be hdr and i don't it just kind of slows my workflow down so i just uh, preferred the iphone 12 pro max in its overall regular camera setup without the hdr video turned on now front facing cameras here between both of these are pretty similar but the 12 pro max beats it out once again because it's giving you a matching 12 megapixel front and the video can do 4k 60 on the 12 pro max and then the 10s max can only do hd so the truth is is the camera you do get a huge bump so it does look like a major upgrade but in reality my honest experience tells me that you are getting a much better front facing camera and you're getting better video quality better overall photo quality but you would have to use the features to make it worth it so don't just look at the camera size and think it's that much better because of that you have to use the features for it to be better. That's what I really noticed. If you're that person who just buys it and then you don't really use the camera all that much, I don't think it would have been worth paying the extra for this iPhone 12 Pro Max. All right, guys, so let's have a listen to the audio. So what is up, guys? 
Nick here helping you to master your technology 7 plus many years later. Should you consider buying this? Now that one was on the full volume. How about this guy? All right, bro. So what I'm thinking is that I'm basically hearing a little bit of a clearer sound for the 12 Pro Max. Consider buying this right now. A little bit more rich. I recommend you buy this right now, unless you. Not on the 10s Max. Quite loud, but not quite as clear and crispy. Right now, no, I don't recommend you buy this right now, unless you just. Both acceptable, and if you're not an audio engineer and you're not into you know audio like that, you likely won't even care or notice the difference by a major amount. So audio, the truth is, is that the 10s Max was fine. The 12 Pro Max is better, but it's not like, again, it wasn't a life-changing thing. And then in the way of phone call quality, here is the truth. I found that the iPhone 12 Pro Max was far better with the cell strength, the 5G strength, everything about it was more akin to what I would be used to with Qualcomm modems because they came back here. Now with the 10s Max, I found this phone right here to be quite mediocre. It wasn't the best. I was often reaching for my Samsung device for better cell strength on this one. So I'm happy to say the truth is, is that if you did want to do the upgrades to these newer iPhones and you've been holding on to your 10s Max, it's time to do it if you care a lot about that element of the phone. I would bet not everybody does, but if you do, if you're still making phone calls constantly, this is the better phone right here in cell strength and overall reliability for your mobile data. So in conclusion, the 10s Max versus the iPhone 12 Pro Max, it may seem like this is kind of like trying to say like the 12 Pro Max is not that much better because a lot of things I said were not super life changing, but that's not quite true. The truth is, is that the 12 Pro Max upgraded all the little things that make a phone experience just a bit better it has better cameras it had the better battery life it feels more premium so it's kind of a conservative route by keeping it very similar but upgrading all the little necessities that will make it feel like an upgrade however i will say that the 12 pro max did not feel like a revolutionary upgrade so if you are looking for something more revolutionary more like wow this is game changingly different i would hold off for maybe until the iPhone 14 or the 13 Pro Max. If the 13 Pro Max doesn't, you know, get rid of the notch, I think I would hold on one more year. The iPhone 10s Max will have iOS 15. I will be covering on the channel, so be subscribed for that. And it's still a really good phone for a lot cheaper price right now that still gets plenty of updates, runs fine, cameras are fine. They're both great phones, but the 12 Pro Max definitely did what it needed to do to secure the bag. It definitely got quite a bit of sales let me know your thoughts on this one did you upgrade to the 12 pro max did you hold off with your 10s max share how the experience has been and taken you through the year if you did hold on to your 10s max and let us know if you might want to be picking up the iphone 13 pro max be subscribed i will be covering those 13s here on the channel thank you very much for watching nick here be sure to be well and peace